Yo, today we're looking at some amazing Godzilla trailers that don't technically exist, but they're still freaking awesome, and they could be one day. I mean, they would be freaking awesome, though. These look incredible. So check out Goji04, link down below in the description. Leave a like, subscribe, let's get into it. All right, the first one is Nest Godzilla, the creepy fast, fa oh, creep, pasta, creepy pasta, pasta. most in life when Godzilla and NES games. When Godzilla Monster of Monsters came out, it was like a dream come true. Unfortunately, I traded the game for Amagon a year later. Oh my god. Recently, I bought a new NES system. A haunted one? It's gonna be haunted. To play my favorite childhood game. I started the game, and the nostalgia came flooding back like a tidal wave. <gasps> it's a haunted game movie, dude. I love those. <laughs> for some reason, this caused the game to glitch up. I know now that these glitches were my first warning sign that something was very wrong with this game. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know that feeling your body has when you feel like you're in danger? Every instinct I had was telling me <laughs> to just turn the game off. <laughs> I knew the game was going to test me if I kept playing, but I had no idea it would go so far. This game is alive. Trapped in a dark world! The whole game seemed to be growing more malevolent. Oh my god! <laughs> He must find a way out! I decided that no matter what happened, no matter what the game showed me, I was going to get to the end. He must escape! Oh dear god. Whoa, dude! That was actually crazy. <laughs> Red, the creature that tormented me through nearly the whole <laughs> That's, that's awesome! The golden light. That was so cool, though. I would, I would watch an entire movie of that. Solomon, still the best. 1973. If I couldn't kill Red, then he would kill me. This was amazing. Cinematic masterpiece right here. Absolutely crazy. It's, it's crazy Hollywood keeps making these crap dumb movies, but there's like legends like this just sitting around. Godzilla vs. Ghost Godzilla. This is exciting. Clips conglomerated into epicness. Oh my god. I didn't realize at the time watching G14 how amazing that scene was, but walking around inside Dagon would be insane, dude. This is much more. We found an ancestor to Godzilla. Oh my god. Godzilla. I feel like this is definitely some copyright music, but we're having fun. If he got away with it, so shall I. Was once worshipped by an ancient civilization. Is that Gangster's Paradise? We called him Dagon. Dagon? I've been saying Dagon. Dagon? Dagon. I pronounce it slightly differently. Natural disasters. That is Gangster's Paradise. Something has happened. Something wants to come back. Oh my god. From the dead. Holy crap! That's awesome. Dagon has returned to life and is raising an army of monsters. Dude, that would be an insane plotline. Return to remake this world in his image. That would be to bananas. Godzilla for dominance of the Titans. Godzilla can beat Dagon. He's bigger. We will need as many Titans on our side. But just for the plot, I'll get into it. <laughs> For sure. You know what's crazy is Brie Larson's got to be like 95 in the MonsterVerse. Yeah, old lady Brie Larson. Godzilla. 
Godzilla will not be able to match the power of the gun. He has powers that are not of this world. That was cool, dude. That was really cool. Godzilla and the Titans cannot save us now. And the worst is yet to come. I feel like America could beat Dagon. I don't mean to brag, this but... This will be the ultimate battle for our oh, world. Yeah. This would be bananas. If we fight together, can we stop this evil from destroying our world? Avengers Assemble type beats with Gangster's Paradise? If Godzilla can win. Arrival Godzilla rising up, Ghost Godzilla as Dagon. Which side will Kong choose? Which side would Kong choose? He'd just be a third party. Kong would be that annoying dude who just stands in the corner throwing trees at both of them. He hates all Godzillas. Godzilla in Hell, the movie trailer. This would be such a cool movie. Why can't they just make this kind of stuff? It doesn't have to even be canon. It could be its own universe. It could be like AVP, like not even canon. Entire villages have collapsed in the mountain towns around Rio de Janeiro. Oh my god! A lot of people are still missing. <laughs> oh heck! Dude, that's Godzilla in a hell. That's so cool. Oh my god, it's it's happening. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's perfect. That's the perfect clip to use right there. Godzilla has been through it, bro. He's like Power Rangers, Avengers, Batman, hell. The Doom Slayer. There he goes. And Gurus, he just watched. When combined, the clips do spell out epicness. Dude, Godzilla fighting a giant monster demon with Anakin? Rodan for real belongs in hell. He's literally a hell demon. He'd fit in perfectly. Wouldn't even be an issue. Oh, man. <laughs> Lord, man! Batman! Embrace the shadow. That scene they just showed was a giant demon getting its wiener cut off. I recognized the movie. Like, that was a- that was a- In that scene, I can't even focus on Godzilla and Hell, because in that scene, the giant demon gets its junk just sliced off by a god laser. And they just showed it. <laughs> okay, it's back to being epic again. Oh, we got Thanos! Epic trailer, start to finish. So totally distracted by that one scene from the movie This Is The End with Seth, that's Seth Rogen and James Franco. Not pulling a fast one on me. These were absolutely incredible. I think Godzilla Ness was my favorite one just cause I don't know, dude. It, that, that's like one of my favorite kaiju that just doesn't really, is like no chance of being in the monsterverse. But it's like a big red demon, dude. The thing's awesome. Either way, this channel and these commercials are freaking awesome. I hope they continue to make them just like of future movies cause I feel like it's gonna be cool forever. Leave a like, subscribe, check out that channel. Link down below and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>